What's going on guys? JT Bedits here with another episode of JT's Chit Chat. That's what I'm going to start calling this series, Chit Chat. Um, today's subject, we're going to talk about respect. Uh, you know, as a rule, I never thought I'd have to talk about respect. But sadly, to say society doesn't know where fuck respect is. I know you're thinking, JT, that's, un that's unbelievable. Of course everybody knows what respect is. Well, you would think, but sadly, they don't. Um, <clears throat> sad part is you see a, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, especially kids, um, and when I say kids, I do mean teenagers, uh, no offense if you were actually raised properly, uh, but, uh, yeah, kids today, for some reason, feel like they're entitled to everything, and that's not quite how that works. Um, you know, I, I watched today, went into a gas station to get some, watched a bunch of, be straight up honest, punk-ass kids, um, you know, holding the door for an old man. I was like, well, damn, I'll be damned. You know, there, there is hope in today's society, but, uh. I was wrong because as the old man started getting closer, they decided to slam the door shut on him and uh, basically lock, keep him from coming in. They thought it was funny. When in reality, it's not. And uh, it's a sad deal, you know. Uh, and it's not just that, you know. You, you, you know, you, you figure after all these years, especially, you know, now that teenage suicide rates have gone up tremendously uh, because of bullying. And I know, you know, people are like, oh, bullying is different. No, nah, not really, because, uh, you know, when you bully somebody, you're not showing them respect. And, uh, you know, of course, I know a lot of people are going to sit there and like, well, you bully, you're an asshole. Well, touche, I, I am an asshole. But at least the great part is, is I tell people I'm an asshole, before, you know, from the get-go. So, you know, I don't know why people act surprised. Uh, but for some reason, they do. They, they act surprised. <clears throat> when I'm an asshole to them, like, you're an asshole. It's like, well, yeah, you know, you should have known that from the get-go. Or not, they still got concrete. Um, <clears throat> and of course, a lot of people are like, well, you know, you're mean to Brandon and blah, blah, blah. Um, one thing with Brandon. Okay, that's what I thought. I was out. Um, be brutally honest with Brandon. He's Brandon's actually a good kid. He, he really is. Um, he annoys the fuck out of me about 99.9% .9 of the time to the point that I want to cut his head off. Not, not really, by the way, not really. Um, he's an annoying little fucker, but when it comes down to it, Brandon's actually a pretty good kid. Um, and yeah, we give him shit a lot. Um, it's just what we do. Um. But at the same time, I'm going to be straight up honest. If I see somebody picking on Brandon, especially when he don't deserve it, I'll be the first one to stick up for him. Um, now, unfortunately, you know, I try to help Brandon out. You know, when he makes a good joke or has a good comeback, I try to tell him to stop. Fortunately, he don't listen and he keeps going and then he just ruins it for himself. <laughs> so he's, he's got to work on that. Uh, but... Yeah, I, I mean, I'll be the straight up honest. I'm an asshole to Brandon. I am. But at the same time, I'll stick up for Brandon if I have to. You know? <clears throat> now, funny on the other hand, he's on his own. He's just straight up on his own. I uh, only stick up for one one half of the, the Fall Twins. But, uh, <clears throat> no, sadly, uh, respect is a deal that, in my opinion, no longer exists. It's a sad deal. Uh, you know, I remember growing up, I grew up very old school. I, 
uh, I'm gonna be straight up honest, my my father wasn't around a whole lot of my life. <clears throat> well, fine. Uh, <clears throat> nope, wrong thing. My father wasn't around a whole lot when I was a kid, or even growing up. Even to this day, he's still not. I haven't, I haven't talked to my dad since almost a year ago. Um, so my grandfather and my uncle raised me. Uh, growing up, they were the they were the male figure in my life, and uh, so I was raised raised very 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 old school. Um, I was raised to say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. Um, the big one is respect the elders. Sadly, you don't see that no more. Um, and you know that's that's of course one problem with today's society. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I've been in the position. You know, I remember being a kid and being young. My grandparents tell me some, or an older gentleman tell me some, and I was like, ah, oh, shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing. Uh, but growing up. Uh, I realized that I couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all right now, if an elderly person speaks to you, the best thing to do is to shut up and listen. Because uh, 99.9% of the time, they've done it, or they've lived it, or they've seen it, or they've heard it. Um, you know, elderlies are not dumb people like, you know, young people try to claim. Uh, <clears throat> some of these elderly people have been through and seen and dealt with worse stuff than we would we could ever imagine um you know uh, you know you got a lot of these elders that have been through the vietnam war uh they've been through korean war uh you know even there's still a few that's even been around from world war ii and uh you know the hell that they were put through um through all of them, uh, you know, back then you had, you know, back then they they didn't know there was always a worry of somebody dropping the atomic bomb or a nuclear bomb. So you know they were constantly in fears their whole life. <clears throat> so you know, a lot of these people have been through a lot of stuff. They've done a lot of things that today's society would never dream of doing. So you know, I was always raised to treat you know the elderly with respect um listen to what they have to say because 99.9 percent of the time they do know exactly what they're talking about um it's it's the cold hard truth it really is um like i said i've been there though I, i've been a kid and i remember my grand my grandpa telling me stuff i'm saying the thing you're a crazy old kook you know you don't know nothing um Looking back, I wish I would have listened to him sooner. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life that I'm not proud of. Um, you know, luckily my grandfather was there to help me get through it. Uh, but you know, if I had listened to him from the get go, I would have never been in the position uh, to have to need his help. So, you know, like I say, you know, make sure you respect the elders. Make sure you listen to him. Uh, you know, just respect general. You know, like I said, sadly, respect in this world doesn't exist no more. Um, today's society is a bunch of pussies. I'm going to be straight up. Uh, everybody, for some reason, thinks they're entitled to everything. Uh, that's not how it is. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be brutally honest. You know, I, I talk to a lot of people that, you know, most people hate. You know, they're like, oh, he's a dick, this and that. But I'm one of the people, as long as you show me respect, I'll show you respect. Now, the minute you disrespect me, everything's off limit. I'll be a straight up fucking asshole to you. And a lot of people's learned that the hard way. Um, sadly, they really have. Um, I, I try not to be an asshole. You know, I do try to be a good guy. I know it's hard for y'all to believe that. I do try to be a good guy. Um, but... You know, like I said, once you become an asshole to me, sadly, it, you know, I have to be an asshole back. Uh, and I'm going to need a crane. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. <sighs> yeah. Um, but like I said, you know, I, I've watched the last few days and it, it kills me to see how many people are just straight up assholes anymore 
Um, you know, sadly, a lot of it's because parenting doesn't exist no more. Um, most parents nowadays want to be best buddies with their kids instead of actually being a parent. And uh, it, it's a bad deal. Now, why can't I buy that? Uh, there we go. But yeah, you know, like I said, it's, you know, I sit here and, of course, I'm, like I said, I look back when I was a kid and I, I was an asshole. Even then, I was always an asshole. Um, but, you know, I've, I've wised up over the years. And, uh, you know, I remember the stuff I doing. And now I look at these kids nowadays and, it's sad, you know. I wish they'd go back to, uh, you know, teach and respect. Um, you know, for some reason, a lot of people think they're they're allowed to be disrespectful, but everybody needs to respect them. That's not the truth. Um, like I said, I'll be the first one to tell you. I, I'll show you respect as long as you show me respect. The moment you disrespect me, uh, well, game game on. Now I'll show you what kind of an asshole I can be. By the way, in case you guys haven't noticed, I've, I've actually, uh, I'm a little hooked on this game. And I've gotten pretty far at it. Holy shmoly, am I going to be able to get all three of them on? But, uh, you know, it, th this society is, kills me, you know. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a 90s, you know, well, I'm actually an 80s child. But I remember growing up in the 90s, and that's what kills me, you know. Is even, it's not like this has been going on for, you know, thousands of years or anything. I mean, there's always been assholes, don't get me wrong. Uh, but, you know, I remember growing up in the 90s, you know. There wasn't so much hate. Uh, you know, everybody got along with each other. Uh, respect was still uphold or not upheld. I can't talk today. Um, you know, like I said, you're always going to have entitled people, but it wasn't near this bad as it is nowadays. And a lot of it's because social media and all these news outlet and uh, again all these self entitled fuck fuckwads. I think you know everything's owed to them, and you know, common sense has gone out the window. Uh, respect has gone out the window. Uh, you know, just society in itself has just turned into a shithole. And it's a sad world. Um, you know, my daughter is four years old, almost five years old. And, uh, you know, the first thing I taught her how to do was, you know, please, thank you, yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. You know, she's four years old, almost five, and she's already doing this stuff. And here I watch, you know, kids double her age that I don't think they even know what please is. I don't even think they know what a thank you is. And, uh, you know, like I said, a lot of it does go back on parenting. Like I said, you know, people nowadays, they want to be, they want to be best friends instead of parents. And I understand, you know, you want a, you want a fun relationship with your kids. That's that's completely understandable. Uh, but as a parent, it's your job to know when you need to be serious and be the parent, and when you can, you know, have fun and joke around and be the friend. Uh, I love my daughter death. I'll do anything in the world for her. But she is she's going to know respect. She's going to know it. She's going to you be respectful. And uh, she knows if she ain't, she gets punished for it. It's just, you know, it's that simple. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, JT, shut the fuck up. You're just rambling. Um, I, I probably am. I probably am. I, you know, I didn't really know what to say going into this. And then, you know, just watching the kids today treat the old man like they did. Uh, you know, it kind of pissed me off, you know. There ain't a person out there... Well, I can't say that. There's there's a lot of people that don't deserve respect. 
uh, for other reasons. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you got an innocent old man that's just minding his own business, you know, and he gets treated like shit. That ain't right. But, uh, anyways, we're going, we're going to put these up and then we're going to call it a video. Um, if you guys are liking the construction simulator 2 videos, let me know. I'll, I'll post more of it. Um, I know I didn't post a video up yesterday. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, I didn't record this weekend. Uh, I ended up having to work Saturday. And so I didn't get an unrecorded Saturday and Sunday I did absolutely nothing. Uh but watch football. I, I had to watch my Chiefs. Uh as a lot of y'all can tell probably by now I'm a huge Chiefs fan, a huge Royals fan, and a huge KU fan. So the last two weeks have been very good to me. Uh my uh, Rock Chalk Jayhawks football has won two games in a row. We actually have a winning record for the first time since two thousand nine. I know, it's amazing. Uh I'm, I know I'm going to get shit because people are like, KU okay, sucks at football. I know. And they have for a while. So I take any win we get. I, I take it. And then, of course, my Chiefs won. Um, you know, I'll be the first one to admit. I, uh, I'm i an Alex Smith fan through and through. Uh, that's my boy. Always has been, always will be. Uh, even though he's with the Washington Redskins, I still cheer him on. I'll, I'll cheer on the Redskins unless we're playing for him. Uh, even then, secretly, I, I will always cheer on Alex Smith. I've been an Alex Smith fan since uh, his days at University of Utah. And, of course, a lot of y'all probably don't even know anything about that. He, he was drafted in 2005, so that tells you how long he's been in the league. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of his. And uh, I hate to see him go. Uh, and a lot of people think I'm a dick because they're like, oh, you, you want Mahomes to fail. I like Mahomes. I like Patrick Mahomes. Uh, I think he's a hell of a damn good quarterback. Uh, my opinion, I thought he should have... Stayed on the bench one more year, get some more uh, learning under his belt. Um, I still think that to this day, even though you know the first two games he's broke the record for the most touchdowns in two games, first two games of the season by a quarterback, and uh, you know he's playing phenomenal, he's playing lights out, and uh, I'm happy for him. Uh, but even then, I still think uh, you know he should have had one more year under his belt. Uh, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But anyways, guys, that's going to do for this episode of JT's Chit Chat. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know any time I post a video or go live with the live stream, make sure you hit the bell symbol next to my subscribe button. Now I notify you when I do either one. As well as going to my Facebook page, the Outcast Posse's Facebook page, and my Twitter. Which links to those on the description below. As well as everybody's YouTube channel and everybody's Twitch channel. So make sure you check everybody else out. They're always posting some badass shit. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Peace!